humans since prehistoric times have strived to create lasting impressions of their existence through some form of art around places of their settlements these expressions form the subtle threads of heritage that bind together the past and the present in terms of building a national identity how are we going to merge technology especially digital technology into these kinds of heritage and culture and arts shri program of dst is an excellent initiative to preserve many of the heritage and culture using digital technology so in that way shri program is very very beneficial for preserving our culture and heritage recent discovery of the prehistoric petroglyphs carved over laterite plateaus of land majorly spread across the kokan region of maharashtra stand over an edge of creating a paradigm shift in the way we have perceived the history of this country and probably the world There is an attempt within this project to be able to systematically document all these locations digitally. Now this digital documentation which is being carried out in this project will serve as a means of comparing across sites and understanding if patterns exist uh, across the entire region of the uh, expression seen in this rock art. The work started with an understanding and investigation about two surfaces that are uncarved and carved surfaces. The uncarved surfaces are were exposed to the sun since the formation of the horse rock. IDH uh, in this uh, project is working towards several technology tools that provide deep dive experience of the petroglyphs. immerse the populace on the significance of these prehistoric rock, rock art uh, marvels and also provide novel revenue streams for the stakeholders on the ground when you want to prove something to people that these things existed for so many years then there are a lot of scientific ways to prove it so the first we are using is 3d lidar scanning The second one we are using is drone technology. Third one is we are mapping uh, this sites. Probably the fourth one we are using is photogrammetry. The fifth one we are using is uh, geomagnetic surveys. Uh, the sixth one we are using is GPS technology. So these are six things that we use as research in this project. and finally the attempt is to be able to bring this entire research and all these sites in a very interesting manner to the general public because it is by kindling that interest in the general public that we can sustain research and uh, all the scientific work that is required to gain a glimpse into how our ancestors lived that is the significance of this project and it is a rare occasion where engineers archaeologists scientists uh, the local community are all working together to gain uh, an important glimpse into a part of indian history which actually predates the indus valley civilization we hope that outcome of this project will help to work or uh, take initiative to arouse interest of historians archaeologists and also other scientific community to scientifically study the rock art and establish the period of civilization which is slated to be older than the indus valley civilization as the project advances these prehistoric rock arts surviving thousands of years of erosion natural calamities and man made follies are getting delighted to be known to be studied their knowledge being spread across the nation and the world as they are starting to get their due recognition and respect by one and all as they say in konkani yeva 
कोंकण आपलोच आसा